Hello, my name is Emlyn Coster. I'm the president and CEO of Liberty Science Center, which is located opposite Lower Manhattan across the Hudson River here in Jersey City. And I'm in Infection Connection, actually the lab where students uh, can sign up and do experiments, in this case, on the DNA of bird flu. But I'm here to talk about the uh, upcoming annual conference of the Association of Science Technology Centers being held in Hawaii in early October and specifically about one of the sessions called Science and Society, Illuminating What Matters. The point of this session is that science centers and science museums have been evolving in their purpose. From the first generation where they looked back at the achievements of industry and technology and the breakthroughs that made in industrial growth and development happen, to a second generation which had an accent on interactivity and an accent on the young generation. And they burst onto the scene, of course, in the early 70s when we had the new knowledge of going to the moon with Apollo and we had a concern about science needing to be in the hands of the uh, general public and children at school needing to have more inclination to study science. But lately there's been a third generation of Science Center developments and Liberty Science Center is perhaps an example of this where our purpose is to illuminate the science that is behind everyday living, our culture and our future. So this session profiles uh, Patrice Legault the CEO of the Koshland Science Museum in Washington, D.C., which is very clearly about uh, serious science, climate change, infectious disease. It's the Museum of the National Academies of Science. It also profiles the work in progress of Jennifer Martin, the CEO of the Science Center in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, which is going to open with a purpose to explain the oil and gas industry of Alberta and its environmental uh, consequences. And I'm going to be talking about Liberty Science Center and the nature of our work to uh, try to influence through insight and action uh, the society that surrounds us in the New York, New Jersey area. The session is chaired by Randy Korn, who's the president of uh, Randy Korn and Associates, who's all about the holistic intentionality of museums, that meaning that the museum has to be wholehearted behind these purposes of higher social and environmental responsibility. So I invite you to come to know more about this session uh, at the ASDEC, the Association of Science Technology Centers Conference, being held in uh, Oahu, Honolulu, Hawaii, uh, on the dates of October 2nd to 5th. And this is a session at 9 a.m. on Monday the 4th. Hope to see you there. Thanks. Bye-bye.